Hello garden friends. Today I just have a little bit of broccoli seedlings. Look at those. These are some seeds I saved and I had no idea they'd even germinate but they did really well didn't they? So yeah there's two or three in each section. Hey it's Diane from Diane Mom Garden Videos. I am just going to pull them out, pull some out, and transplant them just so they all have their own section in here. So it won't be a big deal. It won't be hard to do. And I'm really pleased that I saved seed and I was able to, and they were able to germinate easily. Wow. Got more than I bargained for, didn't I? Oh, we got two six packs of these little guys. They look really good. Let's water them in with some compost tea. How many of you guys plant broccoli? I know broccoli is a tough one. Seems like the bugs are crazy. I let these go to seed one year and it was amazing how many seeds and they have yellow flowers. They're just beautiful plants in the garden. So try to do that and then actually when you also when you cut your main head off leave the plant so you get tons of side shoots coming up it's just it's really an amazing plant so there they are the little broccoli seedlings and you, you can do that if you need to if you need to separate them so they have more room for the roots to grow May 2nd update on my broccoli that I transplanted looks like they're looking pretty good Got to get them growing, so I want to get them outside. May 9th update on the broccoli plants. Those look good. What I need to do is get them out in the garden. Look how stout they are. Look how green they are. Again, compost tea, dehumidifier, water. This was the seed I saved. So they're making really nice plants. Pretty pleased with it. And I can't wait to get them in the garden. They're not big, but I could put these outside right now with a can over them and they would be fine but I'm gonna wait a couple days because it's gonna frost and they're a little tender so I don't want them to get burnt and we'll probably be putting them outside and, and planting them on the next time you see me. Now it's time to plant in the garden. You know I don't have too many rules when I plant in the garden and as far as spacing and everything because I only have a limited amount of space but the general rule of thumb is 12 to 20 inches apart of your broccoli plants with a three foot space through the rows. So you can do it that way. Give yourself a little room. So now it's time to plant. I usually use some old cans from my fruit and vegetables. I dug a hole, I put some compost in the hole, and then just place your plants right in the hole. Very simple to do. Compost will help quite a bit. I don't till my garden, so everything's layered in my garden. In the fall, I put leaves and grass clippings on my garden, and it breaks down until spring. So I never need to till. Place your plants in the hole, firm the soil around it, then I put my can over it to protect it from the wind. It was a windy day today. Those cans will come off as soon as the plant gets a little bit bigger. And just continue on planting and placing some more compost in the hole. I'm only planting six plants today, but it'll be enough. I got six more to plant, and if I find some areas to plant, I will put these in. I am actually using our composted cow manure. It works wonderful. As you can see, Marshall's helping me in the garden today. 
He's a lot of fun. He's very loving. The next step I use the smaller tomato cages push down into the soil. I do this because it helps support the plant. The plant gets pretty big and when we have weather here it also helps support it and the plant won't tip over. The next thing I do is insert a post in the side, push it right through the tomato cage so it helps support the plant. As you can see, now it's not going to go anywhere, which is really nice. Sometimes I also add two posts. So I watered them all in and then I placed some more compost around the whole section. From there, there was three that I did not have cans to put around. We're going to see how they fare with our wind today. They have been at, out in the greenhouse for about a week, so they have had the changing elements. This compost manure was so dark. Thumbs up! Now I'm going to mulch the broccoli I planted. This was the straw that I raked up from my grass that I seeded today, this year. So it's a wonderful way to repurpose and to throw back into the ground. This will break down into the soil and it's just going to improve my soil from year to year. This will help me on weeding. What I plan to do is I might plant a few things in between the broccoli. We'll see how that goes later on. Salt is also going to keep the moisture in, it's going to be less watering, so that will be a great thing when it starts getting a little bit warmer in our area. Best companion plants for broccoli, celery, onions, garlic, shallots, leeks, potatoes. Other garden favorites that grow well planted alongside broccoli are beets, bush beans, dill, lettuce, spinach, rhubarb, cucumber, swiss chard, and radishes. Plant your broccoli where it will get at least six hours of sun daily and has fertile, well-drained, most moist soil with plenty of organic matter. Mulch will help keep the ground cool and moist. Walk it down because of the wind we have here. I don't want it blowing too far away. I could also throw just a little bit of dirt or compost on there to kind of weigh it down. Here's Willow, our ornery little blue healer. Thanks so much for watching today. If you liked what you've seen, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it as it grows my channel. Take care and we'll see you on the next video.